All right, we're going to get started 12-10 promptly. Um, I'm Simon, I'm the event supervisor. Real quick, I'm going to play a video. I forgot the measuring device, so this video shows it and it gives you a quick introduction to the event. So what we're going to start off with is what happens when your two children walk into the room. They'll walk in into an area with ample room to build. There will be kits set up, and then they will use those materials provided, and they can use scissors or pliers that they bring. Set the rules say a ruler as well. I'm not sure how useful that will be. And they'll construct a tower that prim the primary objective of the tower is to support the ball, and then next they want to make it as tall as possible. Nothing can extend above the tennis ball, like a straw or whatnot, and we'll be taking the measurements from the top of the tennis ball, not the top of the tower when it's placed. So the first measurement we make is the height without the tennis ball, and we'll be using this contraption to slide up and down to get a reading for the height. And then I'll measure the base, the widest part, as a tiebreaker. And then the students will place the tennis ball on the top of the tower, and if it holds, then I'll take the measurement. It just has to hold long enough for me to actually measure the height. And if it, the ball drops out in t within the 10 seconds that they place it, but they have time to replace it in that 10 second period, then it will still count for scoring. Um, the way scoring works is there's two tiers. The first tier is towers that support the tennis ball and do not extend above it. So out of that tier, the highest tower will take first place. And if there are any ties within that tier, the smallest base will act as a tiebreaker. In the second tier will be towers that fail to support the tennis ball or towers that extend above the ball with like a straw or something. And again, a tiebreaker within that tier will be the smallest base. That's ideal. You would want to have a small, the widest part of the base will be measured, but you want the smallest base possible. Again, there are a few ties, so I wouldn't even worry about that so much, but it is something to consider when building the tower. All right, that was just a quick intro. I'll show you the device, how it slides up, shoots a laser. I'll give you a little more in-depth view of what's going on. So competition day, Here's, they'll enter the room. You've got two students, one or two. I think some district events allow for three, I'm not sure. Um, they'll have a, their own section set up with the materials provided, and then they'll be given 20 minutes to build the tower as high as possible and support the tennis ball. They don't have to use all 20 minutes. If they finish early, they can let me know. We'll bring the uh, measuring device you saw over, and then we'll take the measurements. But they can only call us over once. So once we begin measuring, then they're set and no more build time. Um, I got a list of sample materials right here for the video. It's a paper bag, three styrofoam bowls, four paper cups, five note cards, six plastic forks, 10 sheets of paper, 12 inches of tape and 13 plastic straws. We actually used those materials at the previous district events last year. Um, nobody used the straws for some reason. They really could help you out. I mean, so be ready for anything we throw at you, though. It's not necessarily coming off this list. Random stuff, whatever you pick up at the stores for good. Um, you can use the materials that contain the rest of the materials, such as the paper bag in this circumstance. People often ask if they're allowed to use that. In one scenario, we had a folder that was like rubber banded and it held materials. You can use that stuff. It's all good. They don't have to use everything they provide, so if they don't like something, say they're not a fan of the plastic straws, don't got to use it. As far as shopping goes, I'm a big Walmart guy, so if you're going to be picking up materials, cheap stuff, Walmart, Dollar Tree, I, I got provided to like 88 different teams at county, so it's going to be cheap. It's going to be readily available. Um, as far as scoring goes, when they call us over, we're going to first take a measurement of the base of the tower without the tennis ball. And we'll measure the widest part of the base, as I mentioned. And then we'll measure the height without the tennis ball. And then they'll place the ball. I'll give them the official tennis ball. It's different than the rest. And they'll place the ball. They have 10 seconds to place it. Say they drop the ball or it slips out of like a cup that it's holding. Then within that 10, ten second period, they can replace the ball. They'll just like chase after it maybe. <laughs> and then we'll measure the height with the ball and we'll take it just barely skimming with the laser at the top of the ball. 
And then as far as scoring goes, there's two divisions. There's the division that is able to support the ball and does not protrude past it with like a, maybe a four for a draw. And then you'll have towers that uh, either did not support the ball or they had something poking past. And then in the last case, there will be the disqualified towers. So maybe they taped it up from the floor or they was leaning against a table or a wall or something. So just a sample of like who will take each place. You'll, first place will be the highest tower that supports the ball and does not like poke past it. Then you'll have the, all the towers that are slightly shorter and then you'll have the shortest tower that supports the ball and nothing's poking past. And then the next division will start and you'll have the tallest tower that does not support the ball and or has something poking past it. And then you'll have different heights as slowly get lower. And then you'll have the shortest tower that supports the ball or does not support the ball, excuse me, or something's poking past it. And then you'll have all the disqualified towers, not many usually, so maybe one or two people broke the rule. Uh, a couple other notes. I already mentioned this one. If the ball falls out within the 10 seconds, it's kind of a big problem. Uh, if it falls out, you still have 10 seconds to place. I'll start counting right when you initially begin. And you have the opportunity to replace it if your tower did not collapse. Or if it does collapse, you can like make it throw it on a paper cup and use that as your tower. That will help you eke out some points. Well, another point, you want to support the tennis ball first. That's your main goal. So. You want to have a tall tower if you are able to support the tennis ball, but don't build some skyscraper that you know is not going to be able to support the ball because you'll just be in the second division right away, which doesn't help you or your team. Uh, and then lastly, kids are going to try and cheat. I try to like stop it. They're looking around at each other's towers, stealing ideas. I, I try to threaten them a little bit. Nothing too, they're, they're not, not too violent, but just like don't cheat. And then. I try to stop it, just try to instill good competition values into your kids so they like, yes ma'am? How many teams are in there at one time? At the county event, it's about 10 or 12 teams. Okay. It's five, every five minutes we cycle in two more teams okay. and people are popping out. Uh, yeah, random stuff. Give them whatever you can think of and prepare them. Variety is good in the materials. Otherwise, maybe they're only familiar with these three items. They could end up crying. I don't want them to cry. I previously mentioned that in another section. Uh, so, what size is the paper bag? Can it range from? So they're not necessarily going to get a paper bag. Right. They're not necessarily going to get anything on this list. It could be completely different. But I use like a brown paper lunch bag. Like a lunch bag. Yeah. More than like a grocery bag. Yeah. I mean, okay. I could get a grocery bag. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> So when you say yes, sir. to you don't want them to cheat, the cheating you're talking about is taking ideas from other tables. Yeah, I try to discourage that. And uh, in the sense of they're not looking at anybody else's ideas, what other things would qualify as cheating or disqualify them in their builds? So if they tape their tower to the floor and it's not actually a freestanding tower, that would qualify as cheating. Or if it's leaning against, uh, say they're by a wall and it's leaning against it or something. So it's kind of obvious stuff. Really not that big of a problem, but it's not good. Yes, ma'am? When you say the tower poking past the tennis ball, are you saying that the tennis ball just has to be higher than the structure? Itself? Exactly. Oh. Tennis ball is the highest point. So if this, my fist was the ball, this would be disqualified, whereas that would not be. Oh, okay. So just the top. Yeah. Yes, ma'am? When you say sample materials, is that seems like a lot of materials. Were they given all of that? or Yeah, they'll, they'll around all that to build. So I could give them maybe four things. Who knows? It's all random. But there is a possibility they could get that many things oh, yeah. at once. Yeah, good possibility. Okay. Yeah. So I thought you said that if, the, um, if there was something poking past the tennis ball, that would just be like tier two, or but it's actually just what the, Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's tier two. Okay. I'm not disqualified. So you just wouldn't measure necessarily that, so it wouldn't count as Yeah, we would actually use their standing without ball height okay. as our score. And then like a tower that was shorter but could hold the weight of the ball would rank higher than like a exactly. taller tower that yeah. could hold it? That's why you don't want to be too ambitious. So in one, some scenarios, like kids will go to measure and they'll place the ball, but then it collapses. And within that 10 second period though, they could like flip a cup over and place the ball on top of that. That's a scoring tower. You'll be in uh, the first division. Yeah.
Can you bring a ball into the competition? Yeah, but they're going to be balls provided, so I don't okay. really know okay. how helpful it is. Is it a certain type of ball? Tennis ball. Wait, tennis ball. Tennis ball. They're all tennis balls, yeah. yeah. Do they have the tennis ball with their materials so that yeah. as they're building they can? Yeah. Okay. So that there will be like a bag maybe that holds all this stuff and then a tennis ball next to it and then they build from there. Okay. Yes, sir. What should they bring with them? They can bring scissors, pliers, a ruler, and then the rules also say tennis ball. They don't have to bring any of that stuff, but it's helpful. Will it be there if they don't? No. No. The tennis ball will be. Right. So you said scissors, the ball, scissors, pliers. Scissors, pliers, ruler. But what can't they bring? They cannot bring anything that's not approved off that list. So they can't bring their own mm -hmm. building materials or like a, a watch. Oh, there's also a stopwatch at their station so they're aware of how much time they have left in the 20 minute period. Do you need, they need to worry about bringing a pencil? I know with car crash they need a pencil to fill out the paperwork? No, we fill out all the paperwork. Okay. Anything else? Yes, sir. I was last year's winner. County winner was approximately 120 centimeters, so pretty tall. But it depends on the material, so if we give them half the materials, we can't expect the same height. Yep. Oh yeah, we're using centimeters. We're scientists. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. I mean, if you guys got any other questions? You want to see the contract? <coughs> show that. How long does the ball need to stay on top? So it's just got to be long enough for me to actually get a measurement. So we're already at approximately the same height. It's just a matter of shifting it a little bit. So it's pretty quick. But, but they have ten seconds to place. Ten it. seconds to place the ball okay. exactly. Yes, ma'am. So when they're ready, they will like either put their hand up or come get you and say we're ready. Yeah, either they'll raise their hand and say we're done early, or we'll hear the buzzer going off on the clock and we'll say time's up. Okay. Gotta wait for us to measure you. Yeah. So say they finish in eight minutes and then they measure it and they don't have that extra time to like try and rebuild it. No, they're stuck. They're yeah. So okay. be sure that they're ready when you like when they alert us that so they want to measure. Twenty minutes. 20 minutes is the maximum time. That they get to build. To build, yeah. Okay. And then after that, then they get about 10 seconds to place the ball. It's really a matter of when we bring the uh, measuring device over to them. Oh. So there could be like a queue, they're waiting around, but they cannot be building in that period. Okay. Yeah. Um, not to be too competitive, but like, <laughs> once the timer goes off, like, and then they have to like stop and step back, like they can't be like watching and then like fixing theirs. No, they can't be working on the tower after like buzzer goes off. Yeah, just <laughs> I do have another question because I have like six kids in my group. Yeah. So you said there's only allowed two. Yeah. Okay. So what That's about the true. other four that are that have been? In I don't know how you got a team. I have there. no idea. Yeah. I didn't assign them. I was just. I've seen three on a team before. People ask about yeah, the third. Yeah, I have six. My group. That's like, a question. How do I do that? Do you have, like an, alter do you have an alternate team at your school? A what? An alternate team, like A and B team. No. No, just one team. No. I'll ask your head <laughs> coach and then head yeah. coach to John Ogden, who's one of the higher ups with the organization. He might be able to give you a better. Okay. Answer. Because I was wondering that. Six and they've been in partners. It's like, how the heck am I going to? Yeah, you might have an alternate team. I'm not sure. Are they allowed to talk during all of this? Yeah, they can talk. Yeah, no, you can talk to your team. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sure, communication is good. Okay. Encourage okay. talking. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. You're free to go if you want, or call each other. Yeah, one. Can the tape touch the tennis ball? The tape cannot touch the tennis ball, like secure it in its place. It's got, they got to be able to place the ball. Right. Yeah. That's another build violation if they try to tape it in. What if you just had like rolled up tape at it? Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, if you like, poked it on the end of a straw, uh -huh. that might be. I'm on camera right it's now. Still, it's still freestanding. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to one of my like advisors and I'll try and get something on the website to address that. Thank you. I don't want to say anything wrong. I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> That's all I got. I mean, <clears throat>
Have you coached this before? I've not coached it, but I was a supervisor last year, and then I was the co-supervisor for the bridges, and that was just replaced. So for our practice sessions, what, in your opinion, does a good 60 to 90 minute practice session look like? <coughs> I have not coached, so I'm not exactly sure, but I was actually a participant in the bridging event back in the fifth grade. So, <laughs> so yeah, so we would build it, we got the materials, and then my coach would reflect with us on like how we could improve it, possibly testing the test it, and then he'd say, you guys should try this. Okay, so for, I mean, me, myself, I have very little experience with this. So where can I go to educate myself and then bring this back to my, my kids? Well, Mom, in the previous session, said she saw a lot on YouTube. I have not, like, looked at what's out there. But tripods, I'm a big fan of the tripods when building. That's a good tip, I think. Try that out. Um, I don't want to see all tripods, though. The original. <coughs> That's all I have. I need anything else? I'll be here. I'll be here. Thank you. Thank you. No problem.